Hi folks, Michael Robinson here with MichaelRobinsonArt.com. If you can see, uh, I normally have my black beret on. Today I got my green beret on and it kind of goes with the colors in this piece. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Art. And today I'm going to talk about a small piece. Uh, also has had a big impact. A lot of engagement on this piece. It's called Nas, not Nas. I'll tell you about the, the idea behind that uh, in a moment with the title and what it means. A lot of cultural references in my work. So um, this came together fairly quickly. What happened was it was kind of a lark. I was out there uh, at, a, at Flax, an art store here locally in uh, uh, Oakland, California, and I saw a black, you can see this is black here on the side, saw a bl small black canvas, and I thought, oh, this would be great for practice. I'll do some practice stuff with this. I was kind of curious about black backgrounds. So I came home, and I was working on some other pieces, and I just started putting these greens and purples and stuff like that together, and then... I thought to myself, wow, uh, this could be really cool. My wife saw this practice piece and said, oh, this is almost like an abstract piece of artwork, but obviously it wasn't finished. And I'd had this drawing. Uh, I tend to do small pieces after ski season is over. I close the studio for ski season because I'm a hardcore skier and I don't want to be distracted. If there's a storm, I go. So I took this idea that I had sketched out and I, when I decided this was going to be a really nice piece, remember it was going to be a practice piece, I was going to toss it out. I grabbed this, uh, uh, my book of drawings, and I had this idea here. They were originally supposed to be like this, but I turned them this way. And the moment I started on this piece, I had this sense of electricity flowing through the brush right up to my brain. And I just, I really, this one came together so quickly. My wife was at work and came home on a Friday afternoon and it was done. I've had lots of people tell me all kinds of different ideas. They say from a, from a distance, this could, these could be villages. I've had people say it's surfboards. I've had people say it's individual homes. All sorts of different ideas. Let me get this a little closer so you can see what we're talking about here in the detail. I decided to leave this background shining through and just did this and gave it an outline. And I thought that giving this uh, oval like this in the middle would really be a nice counterbalance to these two pieces here. And this is maybe why people think it's a house because this thing could be like windows or doors or something like that. Same thing, these could be shutters. I really like the interplay of the white against the black in here. There's a lot of, as you can see in the background, there's black shining through. Uh, I kept the background, even though it seems like there's a lot going on. Color-wise, fairly simple, uh, but also overt. A lot of my backgrounds uh, I'll paint over like with a wash and it'll be more subtle. This one I just decided to give it kind of a jangly look. Now, Nas, not Nas. Okay, Don Waz, Don W-A-S, a famous musician and producer, had an album out with this project and it was called Waz, not Waz. And there's an abstract painter from New York. He's dead now. His name is uh, Noskowski, Robert Noskowski. And a friend of mine told me uh, some of my work reminded him a little bit of that. So I have his book, and I all kind of came together, and I kind of like the idea of Nas, not Nas, because he did, as I said, he did a lot of, and this is a small piece. He did a number of pieces on, like, uh, 18 by 24 canvas board and stuff like that. But anyway, so that's the story behind the art for Nas, not Nas. Small piece, super fun. People really dig it. We've gotten a lot of uh, really good comments on Instagram and Facebook about this piece. Well, anyway, I'm Michael Robinson. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Behind the Art. Michael Robinson from michaelrobinsonart.com. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.